Texas Memorial Museum is a historic building on the UT Austin campus. After 85 years, we have done significant renovations to bring this building back to life for our community. That includes Texas Titans, which features two animals from the Cretaceous period. Quetzalcoatlus, which is the largest flying animal ever with a 33-foot wingspan, as well as a tyrannosaur that has now just been installed here. I've been working with the museum for the last 23 years. The, the beauty and the strength of the building actually complements what we're doing. So we don't see it as something that's separate. So we embrace the history. We need kids to get interested in science and technology, to work on big problems that we're trying to solve for the future. And having a place in the heart of Austin where people can come um, and get those experiences hands-on um, is going to be really important for the university and our community. Our mission is to excite, engage, and connect curious minds of all ages to the unique and irreplaceable natural history of Texas. One of the questions that we had as we were thinking about the, the museum was, is there a desire here in Austin for such uh, an experience? Um, and we were pretty sure that that was the case, but all of our doubts were erased on opening day. It was obvious that this is filling a need for families in Austin. This museum is a truly special place. It's been an important part of our fixture on campus for nearly 90 years. Showcasing UT's research and scientific expertise for our community, it's integral to our mission, and I hope people across Austin and around the state will come and be part of it. We're grateful for all the help we've received, the investment made by our state legislature, our early donors. Without those people, this start would not have been possible. I'm really excited to see how the space and its exhibits evolve as our support for and our excitement about the museum continue to grow. I've been a volunteer for about six years, showing people fossils and kind of trying to describe a world or worlds that have been here before us. That's really kind of the beauty of it, is that it's a place that you can come and experience you know, what it's like to be a scientist and ask questions and observe nature. In order for people to really take care of the planet and their environment, they're going to have to become interested in it. And I think it's places like this museum that help spark an interest and help get people excited about it so then they want to make the changes that the planet needs. I've been coming to the museum since the 1950s, and I'm so proud of the investment the University of Texas has made the last few years to bring it back to its former glory. But there's more work to be done. We all need to contribute, we all need to dig deep. The new museum's going to need to be sustained over the long haul. What we've done so far is just a start. Continue to have work to do to build out new exhibits. I'm particularly excited about our chance to build out the fourth floor to really showcase some of the science and research that's coming from the University of Texas. Working with exhibit designers to not only make sure that the information we provide is correct, it's up to date, but we have appropriate artwork that also allows us to express our thoughts and our hypotheses about what life was like in the past. And I think having a place for kids and adults alike to come and see and experience hands-on science is a way of opening that up to future generations. And again, without that kind of foundation that we had and that energy, I think it kind of resonates in the walls. And so we're taking that and we're bringing this you know, forward and making this place you know, even more of a, a, a jewel on campus, more than it ever has been. And we look forward to you joining us on this journey. We have exciting things to come. This is just the beginning.